This is something very important to me, and uh, I'm going to I'm going to direct my questions to my good friend, Mr. Butterworth. As we both served in the state senate together, um, he was also the adjutant general of the Georgia National Guard, and now in his current position, is fully aware of the the emergency preparedness, the status, and the threats that face the state of Georgia. Now let me kind of summarize uh, what we we face here in Georgia. We have the busiest airport in the world, Atlanta Hartsville. We have 130 plus medium and small size airports throughout the state, two of the busiest import export ports in the nation in Savannah and Brunswick, Georgia. Atlanta is the headquarters of many Fortune 500 companies. We also have the Center for Disease Control in Atlanta, the home of several top research universities as well as the financial center of the southeast. Weather is also a consideration in Georgia as we are susceptible to tornadoes as well as hurricanes coming from uh, the Gulf Coast or the Atlantic Ocean. Um, Mr. Butterworth, with uh, your knowledge of the, these as well as the growing threat that we face from terrorism, how significant are these cuts in our ability to prepare and respond to whether it's a natural disaster, uh, violent extremism, or a target against our, our citizens? Thank you, Congressman. Uh, the first answer is it's, it's extremely, it's highly disastrous. Um, first thing I would say, it's nice to see you. Thank you for the job that you do for Georgia and representing us very, very well. We, Thank you. Uh, we certainly appreciate your time in that regard. Um, detrimental would be another term that would use that I would use. Um, urban search and rescue teams would be would be cut in half. We currently have 15. Uh, canine emerge, or explosive ordnance disposal teams. We have we currently have nine in regional areas. Those would be cut in half, if not larger. Uh, the information sharing and analysis center, the fusion center in Georgia, would would largely go unfunded. Currently, we put 1.4 million dollars of Department of Homeland Security funds into that facility, and that would largely go unfunded um, because of other areas that would have to be shored up, for lack of a better term. Um, and, and it is uh, uh, highly detrimental to the, to the end result. Um, the Emergency Management Assistance Compact, uh, I, I was encouraged in, in the earlier discussion, the earlier panel, Congressman uh, Mayor de Blasio used the term that we, we coined in Georgia, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Uh, I was encouraged to hear him say that, and I'll, I would also apply that um, to the EMAC uh, operation itself. Uh, EMAC would largely go unfunded as well. A as you know, if, uh, if an area is impacted, it is not typically not uh, defined in one state. It is across state borders in many cases. There is an opportunity, as we saw in South Carolina last fall with the flooding, we provided uh, individuals specifically to help them in the recovery process. All of those things would be detrimentally impacted, and we certainly would appreciate your help in that regard. Thank you, sir. 